This guide has been inspected and approved by Luminous. Hey guys, this is Sunspan and welcome to the official Dota Cinema Guide to Leshrac. If you aren't familiar with this hero, you may want to watch the introduction we did for him at the corresponding link. Leshrac is an intelligence hero who many consider to be the best pushing hero in the game. The fact that he can both lane push and tower push backs up this claim. Skill build. The most common build is when pro players typically play Leshrac as more of a carry. First skill goes into Split Earth, with preference then changing to Diabolic Edict. Edict will be your main pushing spell and is to be maxed out by 7. Split Earth on the other hand will be maxed out by 8. Leveling this past 1 will allow you a better chance to hit your stun, as it can be a very difficult one to land. But because of this leveling, your ultimate will not be skilled until levels 10 and 11. The reason for this is because Pulse Nova is very mana dependent, and there is no way in hell you'll be able to support the mana cost at level 6. The reason you get stats at 9 is because one level of Lightning Storm is pretty much useless, and Leshrac can always use the extra stats. Typically players max Lightning Storm from 12 to 15, while of course finishing their ult off at 16. Now in some cases, skipping Lightning Storm until the very end can be beneficial, especially if your team doesn't need another pushing or counter pushing spell. Sure it's always handy, but sometimes the extra stats are worth it. Item build. Before we start with the items, let me just mention that Leshrac can be played as a support, but this guide is more for the farming type. Starting the game, pick up some iron branches to go along with your basic regeneration. Nothing special here. Boots of choice for players nowadays seem to be trending towards arcane, but this is mainly because you'll be disassembling them later. If you choose to bypass the typical build, or if it's just later in the game, then phase boots or boots of travel are the most popular choices. Move speed is crucial for someone like Leshrac who relies so heavily on positioning. In the mid stages of the game, try to farm an early bloodstone. This is an item that works wonders on Leshrac as the mana regeneration can become insane with enough charges. If you chose to go arcane boots, which are very helpful for you in the early and mid game, you can disassemble them and use that energy booster to complete your bloodstone. But of course, sometimes you aren't farming well enough to get a bloodstone, and getting one later in the game just isn't worth it. If this is the case, then go for some drums, since the stats and move speed bonuses will help you get back into the game. As the game progresses, chances are you'll need to make a BKB. Leshrac's a hero who's in the middle of fights, and well, there'd probably be a lot of magical spells that you could potentially dodge. If this somehow isn't the case, then skip the BKB and go straight towards a big ticket item such as a Scythe of Ice or Shiva's. Some situational and overall great utility items would include a Force Staff, Ghost Scepter, Yules, and even a Blink Dagger in certain circumstances. Gameplay. Lesh is a great dual laner, but if you're playing the mid lane, don't be afraid to ask for a gank. Split Earth can be very hard to land and is honestly considered more of a second layer stun. What this means is someone with a more consistent stun should initiate, with yours to follow up. Either way, Split Earth can be devastating. Remember that yes, your cast time on it is quite ridiculous, but this will also allow you more time to fake it and force the enemies away from a creep wave. The letter S is your friend. Diabolic Edict, on the other hand, deals just stupid amount of damage. But of course, it will be evenly shared with whichever units or buildings are in the 500 AoE. Just keep note of that AoE, since positioning yourself could be devastating for an enemy if you happen to catch only them within that area. The damage dealt from Edict is called Composite Damage, or otherwise known as Mixed Damage. What this means is the damage dealt, which theoretically is 1600 at level 4, will be reduced by both magic and physical armor. But the cool anomaly to take note of is damage block from things like Vanguard will not work. Lightning Storm is a great harasser, as well as a lane pusher. This in combination with a split earth will demolish most creep waves. This spell can be used to finish off heroes from great distances as well, since the bounce distance is so great. But the reason that some people prefer not to level this at all is because of the cast time. Let me explain this a bit. The name of the game for Leshrac is to position yourself next to your enemies in order to deal as much damage as possible. Diabolic Edict and Pulse Nova will deal a devastating amount of damage while you move. If you have to cast a spell such as Split Earth or Lightning Storm, your positioning could be ruined. Now the reason Split Earth is leveled is because it's a stun. 
and yeah, those are pretty important. Either way, most players will still level Lightning Storm at some point in the game, because these little positioning nuances don't matter unless you're playing at the highest of levels. And just to touch on Pulse Novo a bit, it will obviously require a lot of mana regeneration, but it can also be very effective for destroying huge creep waves. And generally speaking, remember that Leshrac is not a typical carry. He wants to take down towers early in order for him to get his core items in a timely manner. For teamfights, there isn't too much to go over. You typically aren't the main initiator unless your farm is out of control. In short, you don't want to be the first one to charge in, but at the same time you do want to be in the middle of teamfights, taking advantage of your crazy AoE spells. Also one quick note, Leshrac joins Storm Spirit as two of the best heroes to give an Aegis to if they're farmed. The reason for this is because they have insanely low cooldowns on all their spells. Friends and foes. Friends of Lesh would be pushing and ganking lineups in general. Heroes that fit this bill include Chen, Enchantress, Lycan, Lone Druid, and countless other pushers. Some special mentions need to go out to both Shadow Demon and Sand King, who can help Lesh land a perfect split earth. A final friend of Lesh must be mentioned, and his name is Lion but only because they are the two most hideous heroes in the game. I mean, let's not kid ourselves, people. Heroes that Leshrac isn't particularly good against are those with high armor, since his early game damage is from Diabolic Edict. Heroes that possess this are Dragonite and, well, most agility carries. High agility gain means higher armor, which of course is coupled with the fact that most agility carries get a BKB, therefore rendering Lesh useless. Also, silences cripple Lesh before he can get that BKB, since he's so dependent on his skills, and also because his spell animations on Lightning Storm and Split Earth are so high. A few heroes that silence him would include Death Prophet, Drow Ranger, and, well, Silencer himself. Thanks for watching, guys, and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube. Also, a big thanks to Flawless and Luminous who helped create this guide. You can check them out at their YouTube channels, which are linked in the video description. Also be sure to check out our website at dotacinema.com. My name is Sunsfan, and we love you guys.